Hey folks, it's Rich Burtis from Datacom in Christchurch, New Zealand. Quick clip of how to use a SharePoint framework extension to put some extra fanciness into your SharePoint sites, comm sites, or team sites. Um, especially relevant if your logo isn't square um, and you want to put it up in the top corner. So this is just a quick demo. Um, shows how we can replace the standard navigation in a communication site uh, with something else. Um, drop in a, an, an image at the background with your size logo, whatever size it is. Um, generally, landscape one would be good, but you can put a square one there too, and then replace the existing search with a different search. Um, normally, you can have a search down here or over that side. That's just using the same one, but this is it's pointing back to classic search rather than to modern search. If you like using refiners um, for your search, then all the old style refiners. Uh, that's a really good way to do it, so have that repointed. Um, and the good thing is you can have the same app extension running on a regular team site as well. So same same thing. And this gives you the power of two navigations, um, vertical and horizontal, um, which could be useful if you're not using a hub site. So um, it just shows how you could uh, present that if you want. Same sort of search concept. Um, different icons and logos, different web parts that you could put in. Um, and you can put in your know, usual yeah, it's just a regular SharePoint team site. The cool thing is, um, as you make these smaller, we will refactor. So it's using um, MS Grid uh, to present this page, and then this will refactor. And if I keep going down smaller and smaller, we'll go down to the really super small, and that'll change. There we go. Um, and this is the experience you see on your phone. Um, so, so cool. You can still use it all. So the good, really cool thing about SharePoint framework extensions is they're totally supported. Um, on your mobile device as well as um, your bigger screens. Um, so this is just a grid, uh, which will refactor based on the size, um, extra large, large, medium, well no, there's no medium, small, um, um, in terms of the SharePoint breakpoints. Um, and yeah, you can have your regular, regular old SharePoint comp site um, with a different type of navigation. This will support a mega menu as well. I know there's one coming out um, at the end of this quarter, I think, uh, from Microsoft for um, sites, um, but if you haven't got that available um, and you want to do something different, still have it branded a little bit more, then this could be um, an alternative. So yeah, just wanted to show you a quick quick demo of how this, this could work. Um, if you're interested in learning more, reach out to us at Datacom, reply, and get in touch. Cheers.